Now that I have a working hacking torch, I thought, why not test what it could do? And this proved to be quite interesting as well. So the main reason why I wanted to build a Hackintosh was that I wanted some more power than on my MacBook, but still being able to use all the Mac exclusive programs, like Final Cut. And as on even my underpowered MacBook Final Cut ran pretty smoothly, I thought it must be ridiculously fast on a Hackintosh like that. Now that everything is finished, I wanted to check if I accomplished my goal. The way I did that was I made a clip on Final Cut and Premiere that is about 1 minute and 3 seconds long. It consists of a couple clips, some of them sped up and one color corrected and also a title added and then I exported it in the two programs and on the different systems. Then I measured the time of that and now we can compare it. Now let's get to the results. So let's start off with the premiere results, as these are all like expected. On my Hackintosh it's about the same speed as on the Windows machine, as it is exactly the same hardware. It's just a bit faster on Windows, as the drivers for Hackintosh aren't that well. And as expected also, on the MacBook it was pretty terrible taking over four times as long and so, as I already said in the comparison video, Premiere Pro on the 12 inch MacBook is pretty much a joke. But when we now go over to Final Cut, the results get a lot more interesting, as the MacBook was about twice as fast in exporting as my Hackintosh. And that is with a really underpowered MacBook and in comparison a 6 core Extreme Edition Hackintosh. This really surprised me and I don't have a full explanation for why this is. I also reran the tests just to be sure that it really is that way and I made sure that all the settings were the same. Of course Apple optimizes its software for its own ha hardware so that it runs a bit smoother, but I don't think that this makes such a big difference. So if you know the reason why this is, please leave it down below and I'm interested to see that. Also the score of my Hackintosh isn't that far off, as it is about the same than in Premiere Pro, on the same hardware. This shows that on the MacBook some kind of magic or whatever must be happening, as it is 8 times faster than in Premiere Pro, which is ridiculous. I also made sure that the output file is the same size in Premiere and Final Cut, as in Final Cut you don't have as much control over the output settings, I just made sure that the settings are the same and then I adjusted the bitrate in Premiere so that it met the file size matches up with the one in Final Cut even though the export times on the MacBook are much faster than on the Hackintosh, I still think that the Hackintosh feels a bit snappier and a bit faster in other more advanced stuff. But that's totally to expect. Also I prefer editing on the Hackintosh as I can use my big screen behind me and I don't have to use the small 12 inch screen of the MacBook. But it still proves that a 12 inch MacBook is a really good machine to edit on the go. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and also consider subscribing. I also have Twitter and Instagram handles that you can check out below. Thanks for watching and until next time.